I'm at Gut. Guincado. I'm at Gut. But I'm not supposed to know that. I come from the Niska, the Moachat, the Clinket, and the Hadagwai people, but I'm not supposed to know that. You might ask why I'm not supposed to know that. That's because as Canada is celebrating its 150th birthday, what it's really celebrating is over 150 years of white supremacist ideology, 150 years of genocide, 150 years of land theft, 150 years of broken treaties, of broken promises, much like our good mayor does today. They make their career off of the deaths of people of color. They make their career off of throwing people of color in jail, of throwing non-gender conforming people in jail. And they make their careers off of that. They make millions off of that. We are here today to speak about yet another broken promise from another level of the Canadian government. And we're here to talk about 58 West Hastings. At least three promises to build social housing in this very spot on stolen Musqueam and Slavotoka Skomish land has been broken three times. But I want to take a moment to mention that there's one thing that Gregor did not do when he was doing his campaign, when he was doing his campaign, campaigning for the election. The one thing he did do, and he did a lot of, Maria, maybe you could help me, since 08, how, how high has the police budget gone up? 60%. 60%, and that already takes at least 20% of the city coffers. 25. 25, sorry, yeah. And look at how hard they're working here. It must be real hard to come in here and behind those, behind those uniforms. It must be real hard. But as I'm here, I'm here to speak on behalf of the people that can't or won't or are afraid to speak for many, many reasons. We are sick of being displaced under police repression. We are sick of being displaced under fake laws that, well not fake laws, they're written and that they're real and that they're written, but this line has never been sold. It's never been given away freely. So I asked the BC government, under what jurisdiction does it write its, these laws? It has no justification. It has no more authority to write these laws. That being said, I just, I just said that this Canadian government is, this BC government is illegal. That being said, if they want to show a good, if they want to show good faith to the indigenous people, to the people of color, to the non-gender conforming people, it can start by housing us. If not in permanent housing, at least uh, modular housing. In the meantime, in between time, so we no longer have to have 10 cities. Exactly. We can reduce the police budget to what it was at 2008 levels, and that'll give us about $100 million a year, $60 million a year. And we can freeze it. We could, we could reduce the bloated salaries of inept and incompetent politicians. We can reduce that to whatever the median income is here in Vancouver so that the decision makers actually have to live like one of us. Oh, housing will be built they like crazy. Away. I what want, would they do? They had to live like us. We want to rent freeze. We want to rent freeze. Sorry. We want to rent freeze, not just here, but in Vancouver, in real rent control, so we can stop down evictions, so we can run, stop rent evictions. That's one thing I go after. 
And uh, I didn't really prepare a speech, so I'm just going off the top of my head. You're doing okay. But these are just a few of the things that we can do in this province, in this city. I mean, the city of government, the city of Vancouver government always cries poverty when we ask for social housing. Yet every year, the police get a raise in their budget. And if you look behind us, it seems like the city is spending thousands of dollars uh, just to keep us out of a community uh, garden so we could have a barbecue and poke fun, rightfully so, at the mayor. I would like to thank everybody who's come here today. I'd like to thank the Musqueam, the Slave Tooth, and Skomish people. I would like to thank the first responders, the grassroots first responders during this opioid crisis which disproportionately affects people of color, indigenous people, and non-gender performing people. And I definitely don't want to thank the cops. <laughs> I thank everybody who didn't come here with a gun on their waist. And I thank everybody here. I hope. Click go! Click go! Can't wait! Our homes can't wait! Our homes can't wait! Our homes can't wait. Our homes can't wait. Our homes